So what, can you give me a tour around social text yeah. and uh, show me some of the stuff you've been doing right. lately? So let me give you a focus demo about social calc, the social spreadsheet, uh, okay. which we've designed for distributed teams. Uh, so in this example, what you actually are looking for isn't a wiki page, even though it's right there looking like one that you could click edit. Uh, but instead, this is actually a spreadsheet, uh, and it's one where we're rolling up sales projections for the United States. Uh, what's interesting is from here, I not only am, have a, a spreadsheet that I can link to, uh, but also a discussion page. So if I click here on the first state, and I can go to Alabama, I can drill down and see, okay, for here is um, the sales projections for Alabama. I can see the sales rep responsible for this page uh, is a guy named Matthew. I hover over it to get his business card. I could click through to view his full profile. Um, this page actually is including a wiki page as a cell on the right hand side, which just provides some general information about the structure of this overall model, uh, including that um, what's driving the values for these sales projections uh, are some common sheets, such as those about the values and those about the parts. Uh, if I want, here I have the things that everybody loves about wikis. I can click edit at any time. I've got an inherent revision history. Um, so, and one of the greatest things is I have easy access to editing. With a click of the button, it'll shift from displaying the spreadsheet uh, to going into edit mode uh, for the sales projections for Alabama. Uh, I can, with my keyboard, mouse over to see the different values. Uh, and there's a pretty complex uh, function set that comes with social calc. Uh, and in this, I get the things that I would expect, both for doing things like you know, formatting, uh, alignment, we're up in the top toolbar, right? Yeah, we're up in the top toolbar. And I don't know, actually need to go that much in detail. So it's yep. the things that you would expect, right? Uh, the difference, though, is the in social text, you have the ability to securely roll up data from worksheet to worksheet, such as from Alabama all the way up to the USA. It's really cool. Yeah. What is social text? So now you're bringing me to social text de desktop. Mm -hmm. So that's different from the spreadsheet, right? right? But tell me a little bit about a social text so desktop. So social text desktop is an Adobe Air desktop application. Works on all operating systems. Yeah. Uh, and it's a more dynamic, uh, richer and faster way of working with social text. To me, it looks like Twitter, mm -hmm. though. Uh, it should, because the, the tab we're looking at is called Signals. This is our microblogging application, where okay. I can answer the question, what are you working on? Uh, what's interesting is I can, you know, of course, view all of the signals that might be happening in a company, look at just those who I'm following, uh, look at just mine, replies to me, private messages or direct messages. Anytime someone shares a link, uh, I can go find that. Uh, I can do a search uh, and find all the times that somebody mentioned test, uh, et cetera, right? And yeah. then I can even do a find within this, which is, uh, let's say if I wanted to see all the times somebody mentioned let's say Chase, uh, as an example. Mm -hmm. One thing here, this search bot actually is leveraging a REST API to an inject, event, inject an event uh, from a third party system, such as the results of a searched query. Yeah. Uh, actually, the entire desktop application was built off of our REST API. Um, so in effect, it's a client that's more rich and fast for using social text overall, including things like activity streams. Uh, so here, from following people, I can discover new content through my people. Yeah. Uh, with my conversations, I can discover new people through my content. As I discover people and I want to know more about them, I can click on their profile uh, and immediately see who are these per people according to their profile, uh, what they're working on from their activity stream, yeah. from their colleagues who's following or subscribing to their updates, activities, and signals as well. Um, and you can learn, and just this focus of activity streams, it's not just in social text. Anytime somebody edits a wiki page, makes a blog post, makes a comment, modifies a profile, edits a social calc spreadsheet, uh, it's also events that can come from third party systems, um, such as uh, Sally just closed a sale in Salesforce. Everybody say yay. Um, <laughs> on the other side, uh, here we have the workspace tab. If I want to dig a little bit deeper into uh, some content. I can do a very quick search, find a page. Let's say uh, this is one with a press release in it. Uh, right now, editing is actually done back in the browser. I would click edit and it would open it up in the browser. But also, if I have a file attached to it, I can drag and drop this uh, from my desktop uh, as a simple way to share files with my team. Very cool. And so that's desktop, which uh, is a richer, faster way of using social text. 
if that's what you prefer. Uh, it's also interesting that this very same functionality is available in Social Text Mobile uh, if you want to use Social Text while you're on the go. Wow. You know, the, the last time I, I was here, this stuff was just still evolving. Now mm -hmm. it feels really mature. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and what's interesting is the speed when people ha are using desktop, not only as you would expect, people are using signals really actively. The conversation happens a little faster, uh, but also what happens is it's driving participation in your deeper collaborative workspaces at levels that are even better. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.